Hey YouTube, this is Nick Theos with Michelson Yachts and I'm aboard the latest Michelson 43 Generation 2. This is called Big Mike, hole number 95 in our uh, 43 series. And Sam and I are going to take you guys through a quick walkthrough tour on it. So we're going to put this over on this inside, end tie, and then we'll get aboard. Okay, so we got Big Mike in the slip and I'm going to take you guys on a tour. First thing that's different about this you're going to see is all the previous Michelson 43s, the, the, uh, the transom doors opened out. This one, this one opens in. Pretty slick, like that, a little something different, something we can do. No teak deck on this one, which is fine. What do we got over here? What do I have to do with my trash? Handy trash container over here. Pretty slick. One's of course got a day head. If you pop in there, you'll see this, the uh, fresh water flush we've discussed in previous videos is installed. We have a lot of guys asking about uh, putting cockpit freezers out here. Uh, some different places we can do it. This one, we stuck it in the tackle center. Let's go away, check this out. Slide out, drawer freezer. Ice cold in there. And my favorite, of the things we did differently on this. We've done a lot of uh, joysticks that come out on a uh, on a hidden box. This one, Teak Isle controls, or I'm sorry, Glen Denny controls. Super slick. Put it away, pull the pin, off it goes. Some really, really cool stuff on hole number 95, the latest Gen 2 Michelson 43. Let me take you inside. Okay, so step inside the uh, the salon of this 43, and the first thing you're going to notice, there's no galley over here. So for a long time, hole number one was 97, until maybe hole 40 or so, every single one was a forward galley like this. Um, around the mid-2000s, we did an aft galley, and that caught on for a long time. And every one from hole number 40 till this one, hole number 95, has been aft galley. Um, but we did a forward galley. Um, same square footage in the salon. You're not losing or giving up anything. It's all personal opinion. Um, some cool things about it that I like. The big windows are aft back here. So where I sit, I've got the bigger windows. Kind of nice. And I've got a great feel in this galley. Uh, beautiful selection by the buyers. Um, nice white granite countertops. You know, guys worried about forward galleys before that their refrigerator would swing open. But now I've got these drawers that lock. These aren't coming out when you're underway. There's beer for later on. Um, so forward galley on a Michelson 43. And the next one, holding 96, that'll be here very soon, is another forward galley uh, 43. So we may be going back and forth a lot more than we used to. Let's go forward and check out the staterooms. Okay, I'm in the master. Uh, nothing terribly different from past boats, but this is a really, really pretty master. Um, nice big queen berth. I think the uh, owners did a really nice selection with their colors, you know, the grays along with the, the nice deep dark cherry wood. Uh, really pretty master. Uh, what do we got here? We got a opening hatch. We're in uh, dark out mode. We can go to screen mode. Or if we want to get a little fresh air. Boom. Escape, escape hatch also if you need it. Very handy. Here's the interior head, which is, uh, you know, again, just absolutely gorgeous. I think they did a great job with their, uh, with their selections. Love the, uh, love the hardware, love the countertops, love the flooring. The, uh, the head is on the starboard side on a forward galley. Same size head, but it does switch sides. And here I am in Will's room. A little shout out to Will. Um, guest stateroom. I've still got a lower double. I've still got an upper single. Got an overhead hatch, got a hanging locker, some lower storage down here. Really, really good usable uh, guest stateroom. And to maximize space, I got a pocket door. Okay, let's take a, uh, let's take a look at the under salon area. Again, nothing different on a forward galley versus an aft galley. So to starboard, we start, we've got our water filtration system. Ton of storage back there. There's our 30 gallon water heater. Those are the battery combiners that combine the house and start banks. And you've got three 8D AGM house batteries, combo washer dryer, and then here's our inverter slash battery charger. 
That's your under salon. Let's uh, let's go upstairs. Take a look at the bridge. All right. So as we come up the famous Michelson stairs into the flybridge, we have this vast open bridge that everybody's used to. Aft station back here. Full controls. Bow thruster. Nice set T. Table drops down. Makes a berth. We've got a really good looking dash here. Got two 17 inch screen Garmin's. Two 10 inch Garmin's. Um, the autopilot, all the goodies you need, but just a really good looking dash. We did, uh, some, you know, custom storage over there with that, uh, you know, with the cup holder and the lip on there. So you can just toss stuff over there. One thing to note is we did drop the hard top seven inches on this boat. So it's, it's a little lower. Uh, this boat's going to go to Seattle and for where they're going to keep it heights an issue. So, uh, we dropped it, um, stuff we can do when you're a custom builder. All right, so as we head forward, you know, we've got nice big space here on the side to, uh, to go forward with rails on each side. Plenty of room for your feet. This boat doesn't have a dinghy to dab it. So this is a great, nice, big open area to uh, sunbathe, fish off of, hang out. Um, lots of reason to have a dinghy to dab it, but if you don't need to, this is really nice. All right, last but not least, let's show you the engine room. Okay, so we're back in the cockpit, and of course we all know this is where the engines are on the Michelson 43. Both our enormous hatches are up, and we've got just outstanding access to all our mechanical systems. I'm going to head down uh, into the engine room, and I'll give you a tour. Okay, we're looking at the forward port side of the engine room. I've got uh, one of my start batteries over here. This ducting you see is for a to be installed diesel heater that'll go on the boat. Like I told you, this boat's going to the Pacific Northwest. Uh, looking aft on the port side, I've got my 800 gallon per day blue water water maker. Across to starboard, I've got a 9KW Northern Lights generator. And looking forward, we've got Raycor fuel filters, we've got battery switches, fuel manifold. And something a little different on this one for our shaft protection from uh, corrosion. We've got these, um, what do we call these, brushes that go on the shafts that are bonded to the main zincs. And if you want to spin all the way around 360, you'll see the oil change pump right there. All right. Well, uh, YouTube, thanks for going on this tour of the Michelson 43 uh, Big Mike with me. Uh, in the near future, if you're up in the Pacific Northwest, keep an eye out for this one cruising around. Until next time, this is Nick Theos from Michelson Yachts, signing out.